What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade iTunes. Now in this particular video, I'm going to be downgrading iTunes 12.1.2 down to 12.0.1, but it doesn't matter what version you're on, this process should work for whatever you're using. So you can see right here that if we go over into help and then about iTunes, I'm on 12.1.2. So we're going to start that downgrade now. So we're going to close out of this, so close out of iTunes, and then all we want to do is just go to the search bar and you can just type in program uninstall or uninstall program and it should pop up right here. So you wanna click on uninstall a program. It's in your control panel if you wanna go through it that way. So then what we wanna do is find iTunes. So here we have iTunes. So we're just gonna right click on it and we're going to uninstall it. Now this shouldn't take too long to uninstall but we aren't only going to uninstall iTunes. There's actually a couple more applications that we're going to need to uninstall in order for this to all go smoothly. And then we're gonna to have to actually rename one of our iTunes library files. So I'm gonna show you all that through this process. But first, let's go ahead and let this uh, uninstall itself. And just so you guys aren't waiting around for the actual uninstall process to take place, I'm gonna be speeding up through this process. All right, so now that iTunes is uninstalled, and you can even see right up here that the icon is gone, so we know it's gone. Now the next thing that we want to uninstall is iCloud. So here what we want to do is right click on it, click on change, and then you can see right here we have a remove option. So we're going to remove iCloud. So do we want to completely remove iCloud from Windows? Yes. So let that go ahead and take place as well. And that one's pretty quick. So we're just going to click finish here. And then we're going to go back up to, uh, we're going to be looking for Apple application support. So that should be right here as well as right here. So we're going to get rid of both of these. So uninstall that one. And then once that one's done, we're gonna do the next one. So the 32-bit and the 64-bit. Now keep in mind all these steps will be in the description below just so you guys can refer back to them without you having to actually rewatch the video. Now if you get a pop-up like this saying that Apple Mobile Device Service needs to be closed, you can see that the automatically close applications is ticked. So go ahead and click OK. And it should go ahead and close that out and continue with the uninstall. And now that that's done, we have one more, which is Apple Mobile Device Support. So this is gonna be the last one that we're gonna uninstall. So go ahead and uninstall that one. Now once that's done, what you wanna do is go into your computer. So just click on Start, go to My Computer, and then click on Music. And then here in Music, you're just gonna double click on iTunes. Open that up, and then you should see a file called ituneslibrary.itl. So what you wanna do is rename this and you're gonna rename just the extension. So change the ITL to BAK. Now once you've done that, you can click off of it. It'll ask you if you're sure you wanna change it. Go ahead and click yes. And you can see I've actually done this before, so it's asking me if I wanna use uh, a second file name like this. So I'm just gonna click yes. So you can see that it's changed it to the dot two. You can see I've already done this once. So now all we need to do is download the iTunes version that we actually want to downgrade to. So in this instance, we're gonna be downgrading to 12.0.1. So the website that you wanna to go to in order to download that is this one right here. It's oldapps.com. So then all you would do is just type in iTunes right here and it's gonna give you a list of old iTunes versions. Of course, I'll put a link directly to this website right here and it's gonna bring you to directly to this page. So now what we're gonna be downloading is the iTunes 12.0.1 64-bit. Of course, there's 32-bit right here again, if that's what you need, but we're gonna be using the 64-bit for this process. Now, I've actually already downloaded this, so you don't have to sit through all that, and you can see that I've actually have it here on my desktop. So I'm just gonna double click on this, and it should go ahead and take us through the process of installing iTunes on our PC. So we're just gonna click Next, and that looks good, so we're going to install it here, and I'll speed up through this process. All right, so you can see right here that we have completed the iTunes install. So I'm just gonna click on finish and it should go ahead and open up iTunes here. So now when we go to help and click on about iTunes, you can see that we're on 12.0.1. So that's all there is to it. It's actually a pretty simple process. You just kind of have to know exactly what you're doing or it's not gonna work and it can be pretty frustrating. So again, if you guys have any issues, be sure to leave me a comment. I'll try to help you guys out. Of course, if this video is pretty old, then make sure you follow me on Twitter. I do a whole lot of support on Twitter, as I mentioned. So make sure you just follow me there. I'll put a link in the description below for that. Of course, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna see more helpful videos just like this, make sure you subscribe. 
All right, guys, until next time, peace.